Hi, it's Zarafina Zara here. Today we are talking about creative blocks. It's coming up to Christmas. Do I have some tinsel? Maybe I don't need to keep the tinsel. Do I keep the tinsel? I keep the tinsel. No, I feel stupid with the tinsel. Okay, no tinsel. So I have a confession to make and that is that my weekly challenge has fallen off the rails and it's a great opportunity to talk about where we get blocked and where we get stuck. Uh, I'd love to hear where you get blocked and where you get stuck. If this is your first time watching, I'd love you to subscribe or like uh, so you can follow along. And I've been talking about songwriting and we'll talk about creativity as well. And I've gone through a few drafts of songs and with the intent to then come back with the redrafts after getting some great feedback, which has been fantastic. Uh, and then I haven't done that. So there are a few reasons why. One of them is I'd love to know where you get blocked. But one of the reasons why is earning a living has gotten in the way a lot. The other thing that's gotten in the, in the way has just been avoiding making the time for the work. And I actually think that's one of my biggest blockers. The It's so easy to prioritize work for other people or work for money above my songwriting. Uh, I'd love to hear your tips on how you deal with it, but I think I really need to schedule things in ahead of time so that I make sure I've made time for that creative process. Uh, I've also had some personally challenging things and health as well. So I think that your health and your creativity are tied together. When you're really unwell, it's hard to make time for creativity. And also um, something bad happened and I actually felt quite depressed. And depression and creativity are actually quite connected in that one of the interesting findings about creativity is that when we experience depression, we're actually more empathetic. It helps to make us more empathetic. And afterwards, I think that can make us create. But I'm not sure that people are really good at actually creating when they're depressed. I think it's more of an, an after thing. And I definitely had some really challenging things where I was just trying to deal with the world. And I think that is something that really stops me from creating work. The other thing that I would say is perfectionism. And I have definitely procrastinated even from making this video because it's so challenging to talk about. I feel so uncomfortable about talking about perfectionism because often that's what I do with my work is I, I create something and then my rewrite can never be good enough. And I was talking to somebody about it who's starting their journey on singing. I know it's joined up to the channel. Um, and I find that just being in it is, is really hard sometimes. Just being in the process is, is such a big challenge and a personal challenge. And uh, he said, oh, I think this other thing will make me feel better about it. And I was thinking, maybe, or maybe one of the things is to learn how to deal with that as part of the process, that you're gonna feel uncomfortable. You can be pretty guaranteed if you care about it, you're gonna feel uncomfortable. And I need to learn how to feel, the same advice I gave out, which was very sage advice, is that it's not up to you to judge, or is it up to you to judge the work, or could you let other people have their experience of, of whatever it is you're producing, rather than you judging it and not letting it even exist in the world because you've decided for whatever reason it's, it's not good enough. And that really brought up that worthiness conversation is, uh, am I good enough or is my work good enough to share? So it's a short one this week. I'd love to hear where you get stuck and what you do with it. I would actually like to give you two resources, which I'll put in the link below. Uh, one of them is Art and Fear by Orland and Bloom, I think it is. And it's a really fun exploration of how we're guided by fear in making art and how to get over your own demons or your own way of getting in the way of yourself. And another one is Brene Brown. Maybe it's her book Rising Strong or I've just been listening to Audible to an audio book of her talking about vulnerability. The, the other book is Daring Greatly. I think Daring Greatly she talks, Brene Brown talks about uh, about perfectionism. She talks about perfectionism and how we get stuck with perfectionism. So that's all for this week. I will 
produce another video next week and I'd love to hear where you get stuck in your creative process. There's always another day, there's always another week and sometimes you just can't produce work uh, no matter how much you want to and I think the important thing is to review and think about what's important to me, what's my why, what's my what's important to me about making work or redrafting something. Um, and sometimes it's just sucking it up and doing it. <laughs> so putting it, just kind of going, doesn't really matter why. I've started this and I've made some kind of commitment to write these songs. So um, here's my appointment in my diary for myself as to I'm gonna do 20 minutes on Tuesday and 20 minutes on Thursday of rewrites. So that's where we're at. Boo is all I can say. Boo, boo, boo. But it just, it just is what it is. And I will see you next Wednesday. I wanna kill you.